Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tacky Tuesday. If this is your first time passing through my channel, welcome. My name is Stacy. I am a paramedic and I created this series to help those going through school in EMS with their cardiology. Cardiology can be super intimidating and honestly something that I actually really struggled with when I was in school. So with that being said, let's jump into today's video which is all about sinus arrest. So beginning with the definition, just like we always do, sinus arrest is a cardiac condition that occurs when the SA node fails to form and or generate an impulse. The absence or pause of this electrical activity appears as a flat line on an EKG. Depending on the literature you're looking at, sinus arrest may also be referred to as sinus pause, but for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to be referring to it as sinus pause. There are some doctors and medical personnel that say there are distinct differences between sinus arrest and sinus pause, and it it has to do with the amount of beats or impulses that are missed and P wave morphology and things like that. We will just be referring to it as sinus arrest. Taking a look at some of the characteristics of sinus arrest, the rate is going to vary. It just depends on what the rate of the underlying rhythm is. So it could be normal or it could be bradycardic. It is an irregular rhythm and whenever you take a look at it on a strip, you'll know exactly why. Something different about sinus arrest is that it has a moment of a flat line on a strip or an EKG. So so the P waves are not present during that flat line or during that arrest, but they are present in upright during the underlying rhythm. The PR interval varies. It could be normal, it could be prolonged, or once again, it could not be there during the arrest. QRS complexes, once again, not present during the arrest, but normal in the underlying rhythm. Signs and symptoms of sinus arrest can vary, and actually patients can be asymptomatic, so they may not feel anything. But if they are feeling something, it could be dizziness, nausea, and vomiting. If it goes on, for long enough, it could cause syncopal episodes, patients could have feelings of impending doom, which is never a good sign, and sometimes sinus arrest will turn into asystole, and cardiac arrest can be one of the consequences of it. The causes and risk factors of sinus arrest can include hypothyroidism, electrolyte imbalances, and I kind of repeated myself a couple of points down, I put hyperkalemia, hypoxia, various medications like digoxin can cause it, myocardial infarctions or cardiac failure, specifically the posterior MI could be a risk factor for sinus arrest. Age can be a factor if a person is older and also conditions that affect the SA node. And the most common one associated with sinus arrest is sick sinus syndrome. And if you don't know what sick sinus syndrome is, or maybe you just kind of remember it briefly throughout medic school or ENT school, definitely review this because the day that you end up having a patient with sick sinus syndrome, it's unpredictable for sure. So brief yourself on it. It is a very interesting syndrome. We will probably go over it in a video in the future. Let's take a look at a strip with sinus arrest. Looking at this strip, you'll see that it looks like a very regular rhythm until it hits that part where there's no electrical activity, referred to as sinus arrest. That first beat after the sinus arrest is referred to as the escape beat, and sometimes this beat may not have a P wave. It just depends on what part of the heart the actual beat is coming from. As we know, our SA node is referred to as our pacemaker. Our AV node is referred to as our gatekeeper, but our AV node can take over and there are different points in the heart that can actually take over to compensate for what the SA node isn't doing. Now that we know what it looks like on a strip, let's take a look at some of the treatments. Looking into some of the possible EMS treatments, obviously you want to get a 12 lead and that is where you'll start to notice that the patient is experiencing sinus arrest. Oxygen is a possible treatment, IV, blood draw for the hospital if your hospital allows you to do that sort of thing for them. Monitor for deterioration because sinus arrest isn't a normal everyday thing. And so you definitely want to get a really good history on these patients and search for underlying causes. Does this patient have sick sinus syndrome? Is the rhythm slow, fast, or normal? If the rhythm is slow and the patient is symptomatic, obviously we're going to go to options like atropine, transcutaneous pacing, things of that nature. If it isn't bradycardic, then the main thing is to just treat the patient's symptoms and complaints. So essentially search for those underlying causes and get a really good medical history because many times these patients, even if they don't have sick sinus syndrome, if they have periods where they're missing three or more beats, they usually become candidates at the hospital for a pacemaker. That's about all I have for you for sinus arrest. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next week. Bye!